good day how to solve this problem here the SCM here is x raised to power 3 so let's multiply the two side by x raised to power 3 we have 1 right 11 over x then plus 1 right 11 over x square minus 11 over x raised to power 3 so we multiply this side by x raised to power 3 which is the SCM then equals to 11 multiplied by x raised to power 3 so that when x raised to power 3 open this bracket the first you know value here x we cancel one of the x so we have x squared times 1 right 11 so we have 1 right 11 x squared then plus x raised to power 3 times x squared we are going to have x left then 1 and 11 x then minus x raised to power 3 cancel x raised to power 3 that will be minus 11 which is equal to 11 x raised to power 3 now from here let's take this minus 11 to this side become plus and we have 1 and 11 x raised to power 2 then plus 1 and 11 x will give us 11 x raised to power 3 plus 11 then from here we can factor what is common out in the left hand side here 111 x is common let's take it out we have 111 x then into bracket what is left here is x then plus what will be left here is 1 then equals to what is common here is 11 so take it out that's 11 into bracket x raised to power 3 plus 1 and uh, also from here we can write this x raised to power 3 plus 1 as same thing as x raised to power 3 plus 1 raised to power 3 because 1 raised to power 3 we also give us 1 and uh, from this identity that when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 this will be same thing as a plus b then multiply by a square minus a b then plus b square so here x will be standing as a and one will be standing as b and when we write this from here we are going to have the left hand side we have 111 x times x plus 1 then equals to 11 then multiply by so when we write x raised to power 3 plus 1 raised to power 3 in this format we have x plus 1 that's a plus b then times x square then minus x times 1 that's minus x then plus 1 square that's t plus 1 then from here let's take everything on the left to the right now and by the time we write it we have 11 x plus 1 then times x square minus x plus 1 that's the right hand side then when we carry this one here we have minus 111 x then into x plus 1 then what we be having left on this side will be equal to 0 since we have taken everything to one side and uh, from this step we can factor what is common here out we have x plus 1 x plus 1 common let's take it out so we have x plus 1 out then what will be left when we divide this one by x plus 1 we are going to be having 11 into x square minus x plus 1 left here then what is left here is minus 111 x then equals to 0 and uh, we can simplify this bracket as well using 11 to open this bracket so we have x plus 1 will be multiplied by 11 open the bracket we have 11 x square then minus 11 x then plus 11 so we have minus 111 x which is equal to 0 also we can simplify this 
and uh, when we add the like terms which is x together minus 11x minus 111x that will give us 122x so we have x plus 1 now then multiply by 11x squared minus 122x plus 11 then equals to 0 then we have two possible cases here we have x plus 1 equals to 0 that is the first case then the second case 11x squared minus 122x plus 11 will be equals to 0 so when we solve from here the first term here we have x will be equals to minus 1 so this is the first value of x then from here we can solve this quadratic equation by factorizing we can rewrite minus 122 as minus 121 x then minus x because this will give us minus 122 and when we multiply it as well we get plus 121 x squared in which the first term and the last term here multiply each other we give us 121 x squared so that we can now balance it and have 11 x squared minus 121 x minus x plus 11 we then give us 0 so when we group, group this one in twos we have this two what is common here is 11 x so 11 x we taken out then we have x left then minus what is left here is 11 then what is common is minus x then we have what is left inside here rather sorry please what is common here is minus one now minus one is common here and what is left here will be x then minus 11 then equals to zero so we have x minus 11 x minus 11 so we have x minus 11 common then what is left here is 11 x then minus 1 which is equals to zero so also from here we have two possible cases we have x minus 11 equals to zero or we have 11 x minus 1 equals to zero from here we get x equals to 11 and then when we solve this we take minus 1 to this side become plus and uh, dividing both sides by 11 we now have x equals to 1 over 11 so now we can conclude that we have three values of x now the first one being x equals to minus 1 so let's say x1 now equals to minus 1 so x2 we got x2 to be equals to 11 and the x3 to be equals to 1 over 11 so these are the three values of x that we got from this problem thank you for joining us we appreciate you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos so as not to miss out on any of our uploads. See you in the next class and bye for now.